Okay, we got the LG Optimus V phone from Virgin Mobile. Um, in this video, uh, it's a how-to video, I'll show you some basic steps you can take to increase the battery life on your Optimus uh, phone. Uh, for the sake of simplicity and battery life, I, I avoid installing apps unless I absolutely uh, need them. Uh, the only app, uh, or at least uh, custom app that I downloaded other than what the phone came with, um, is the quick settings app and you could check it out uh, here's a link on, on the video just click on that if you want to know how to uh, install that app the quick settings app will help you turn uh, different settings on and off quickly so you can conserve uh, battery life we'll go to the quick settings right now you know if I'm not using my internet my 3G connection I'm not the heaviest uh, user with that because I actually use my computer a lot for the internet. Um, I'll just turn it's on right now. It's green, so I'll just turn it off. And uh, the uh, the really big one that I found out drains the battery really quick is Auto Sync Data. Um, that helps like if you have uh, like Google Mail, Gmail, uh, for example, and it syncs the data with the phone. If it's not critical for you to always immediately see every single email that comes in and for your phone to notify you um, and you don't mind checking it manually and turning it on every once in a while, you know, I, I usually keep it off uh, unless I want to update my email, I'll turn it on, it'll sync everything and then uh, I'll turn it back off. Uh, I'm just not a heavy user with uh, email on my phone like, uh, and if you are, you know, that's... Uh, the other thing is you can turn down the brightness so um, you know if it's really bright outside you probably turn it up it'll help but I usually have it around uh, 30 percent or so that helps conserve the battery and then of course like I have Bluetooth turned on uh, I turned off the Wi-Fi that comes with the quick settings app um, you know and, and if I ever need it I, I do turn these things on but when I'm not using them I just come in here and I turn them off same thing with GPS and then the uh, the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot, or uh, and there's some more settings. Uh, the other place to go, click the in the bottom left the menu button and just go to settings. And uh, another big one where you can find the battery wasters is applications, manage applications, and where it says running. And in here, you know, if you're not using your calendar. If you don't have anything stored on your calendar, you know, that's the first one on the list that I, you know, I'd leave Android system on. I leave a lot of them on. I don't, if, um, you know, you could click on the calendar if you don't care to use it and uh, hit for stop. Now I have something saved on my calendar, so I'm not going to stop it. Um, the camera, now if you stop the camera here, I'll stop it right now. It's going to conserve on battery life, but all I have to do is turn the camera on with the camera button on the side and it'll come back on. It's not like it, the program gets deleted or disappears. It's still there, but it's just not running in the background when you're not using it. Um, the other thing, um, you know, you can turn off the clock if you care. I skipped some of these, but I'll show you some of the ones I turn off just because I don't, I don't ever seem to use them. Um, like this email, you know, I use the Gmail on here sometimes, but this other email, because you know, like this one, I suppose is for Yahoo or sending it up with something else. I don't use it, so I'll just uh, stop it. And right now, I'm not even using the Gmail. And you could always, these will automatically turn on when you click on your Gmail icon in your apps, it'll automatically turn it on. Uh, you know, so you could, you know, I, I just stop that. Um, even your photo gallery, you know, it's, it's actually using, I don't know why they did this, but. I'm not using the photo gallery right now at this moment, so I'm not sure why this app is running and it's taking up resources. So I'm going to turn it off. Once you turn off these options, they'll stay off unless you start them up again uh, by, you know, by going to those applications. And if you completely turn your phone off and reset it, um, a lot of them will, uh, most of them uh, will come back. Uh, and you'll, you'll have to go through the list and turn them off. Um, but it's nice going through here because if there's something you will never use, they'll always stay off as long as you don't reset your phone. So, uh, a couple other ones uh, that I don't use. 
uh, you know, like right now I'm not using the maps. You know, I, I use it. I, I like that feature sometimes, I'm not using it at the moment. The market, I rarely use it. I don't download a lot of apps. Um, and, you know, even music. I'm not listening to music right now. So that's that's one thing I just, uh, uh, kind of puzzles me about this phone. And maybe somebody could recommend something or, um, as, you know, I'm not using, I'm not listening to music. But for some reason, the app is still running, you know, and you could turn it off. And when you want to listen to music, you just turn on the uh, the music icon on the phone, and it'll start back up, no problem. You don't have to come back here to turn it on. Um, SSA, I forgot what that is, but I looked it up before. It's not something I need. Uh, and then Tweedroid, I never use that. Um, so basically, I'll leave the. But you can always go through this list. Maybe you'll find some more that you, you you'll never use. And if you're not sure what one of them is, look it up on. Uh, type in the process name on Google because some of these are critical to the phone. You probably don't want to turn them off, but uh, others. And and if you turn them off, if you reset and and it was a critical one, all you have to do is turn the phone completely off, reset it. It'll come back on. So. You, uh, your phone's not going to get uh, ruined. The only thing you'd have to be careful, some of them have the option, it says clear cache, uh, cache. Uh, and on those, for example, um, like messaging, you know, your that's your uh, texting. Um, if you clear the data, for example, right there, it's going to erase all your uh, texting history. But if you just hit for stop, it'll just stop the program but but you know just leave the clear data button alone it's not going to delete any of your history just here for stop and it's just going to stop the program uh that should be it on the i mean there's probably more things you could do with the batteries those are some of the things i do um thanks for watching uh you can visit my channel and uh please please subscribe i've got more videos on the way F feel free to give the video a thumbs up if it was any help also, leave any comments or questions, uh, and I can even try to answer uh, some of them. So, thank you very much.